I don't know who need to hear this word, but I know this message is for somebody. God did not tell you that that is your husband. God didn't say to you that that is your husband. There is a lot of deception that is going on in the body and God is exposing it to free his children from a delusion. And this word is specifically for my single women, uh, my single sisters that is in Christ. The enemy loves to use marriage to deceive single women. And God is just saying enough is enough. It is time to wake up and come back to your first love. Your true love, your first and forever husband, which is Jesus Christ. God is really emphasizing and putting an emphasis on marriage this season, but is a marriage to Jesus Christ. He is calling many of you to marry him. And this is why the enemy is able to deceive many single sisters is because we are simply not fulfilled with our marriage to Christ. We are still looking on the outside like Jesus is, isn't enough. And that is not the case. Um, this is a word that God has brought back to me. But I am led to tell you a little bit of my testimony when I was a babe in Christ. This was about my second year as a Christian. And I was committed to, you know, focusing on God. I wasn't even thinking about marriage, at least not out loud. Okay. I was literally um, excited to learn more about Jesus being my husband and being faithful to him and taking advantage of my single season, however long that may be. And while I was on this journey, right, um, the enemy played with me. Okay. So number one, he sent a pastor who I was serving under for a year. He sent him to give me a word. And of course, this word was about marriage. And I didn't ask for this word, but what I was doing wrong was I was looking for a supernatural church. Because at the time, I, God wasn't enough for me. I guess I thought that I needed to go to somebody else that was um, that had more or greater faith than me um, to tap in. And while doing so, the enemy sent a man to me to give me a word. And that's what really kind of got me hooked um, was the word that he gave me. And it, it was more than marriage. It was um, about my purpose and all of that. But he gave me a word that he sees a man in my life and that he sees a marriage coming. And that word really did kind of shock me because I'm like, dang, I wasn't even praying about a marriage. Like I wasn't thinking about a marriage. I literally have just been delivered from toxic relationships. So I was really trying to purify my thoughts and myself and just really give my all to Jesus. So I was like, okay, but in my heart, my heart have not been delivered from, you know, the toxic relationships and yearning for marriage and focusing on other things than Christ. So the enemy knew that and that word kind of stirred up something in me that I thought was gone. And then the enemy sent another person just randomly, randomly another brother that I had met at a revival called me out of the blue. Now, the crazy thing about it was this brother was on my mind. Like I wanted to talk to him, but I did not have his number. So I was literally searching him up and everything like wishing that he would just call me or like I could find his number. Long story short, he calls me out of the blue and I literally just knew it was God at the time. I thought it was God at the time because I'm like, I literally was just thinking about you for weeks and I did not have your number. And for you to just call me out of the blue, it got to be God, right? And he prophesied so much over my life. I mean, so much stuff that happened to me and so much stuff that was in the future. So I literally thought it was from God. And he told me, of course, the same thing. I see a husband in your future. And this brother actually told me the person, which was shocking too. And I was just like, okay, I guess I want to do whatever God wants me to do. So I literally came into agreement with this word, y'all. Long story short, I was praying for this marriage. I was warring for this marriage and it was not God. It took about three months for me to realize that I have fallen into deception. I have fallen into delay and basically witchcraft for real, praying and warring for a man that was never mine. 
And you got to understand this man was really not walking with God. Um, but I was believing that God can do anything because, I mean, he changed me right. But that's where wisdom come in and discernment. We have to know that God is not about to tell us to go marry a person that's really not following him, that doesn't have the heart for him because he loves his daughters. We are his wives. We are literally his brides. He's not just going to give us away to any old thing. We ain't got time for that. But I shared just a little bit of this story to help those who is going through similar situations or maybe in the future so that you will not be deceived by your own fleshly desires and you will not be deceived by the enemy. Because just like how God can prophesy, the enemy can also prophesy a word into your life. And if you come into agreement with that thing, you can actually marry a person straight from hell. And that only brings you a long life of turmoil and, and disaster. And of course, God can make things turn around for your good. But you're going to be battling a lot of um, demons that you wasn't even called to. You wasn't even called to fight them. But you have come into agreement with a demonic word. And now you're wondering why your life is falling apart. How to not be deceived, first of all, I've learned that we truly need to understand that God is our husband. We need to commit our minds, our hearts, our bodies to him. We need to allow him to come into our heart and create a new heart, create new desires in us so that he can wash away all of those temptations that are trying to hide deep within us so that he can heal us from all the past traumas, from relationships, from all the past abuse and all everything else okay that comes with that we have to truly walk into repentance and live a lifestyle of praying and fasting and knowing that it is not outside of us like we are fulfilled with god we need to understand that everything we need is inside of us because our king our god our husband lives within first of all god has showed me that you do not need a husband or even a wife to complete you. The only thing you need to complete you is God, truly. And also, we have to judge things by their fruit. If somebody give you a word that um, somebody is your husband or even your wife, first of all, did God tell you that? Is this person even of God? Are you even ready for that? Like, have you been through the fire and are you showing good characteristics of a wife? Like, it's an entire process. And we really need to be happy in our singleness. Many of you actually have the gift of singleness. And even if you don't, if you lean towards the father, he will give you the gift of singleness so that you can overcome those temptations and really truly get to experience the fullness and the love of Christ being your husband. Singleness in Christ is the best thing. It is not a bad thing. Just read the writings of Paul. The church and society always condemn single people. But if you're single in the Lord, you're truly not single. But if this word is for you, let the Holy Spirit lead you. Let him guide you. Let him love you. Let him teach you how to be a wife, how to be a good thing. Because even the scripture that says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. That means that you are already supposed to be a wife before the physical husband even come because Christ is truly your love, your first love, your last love, your everything, your true husband forever, for eternity. Even when we go to heaven, when there there shall not be wife and husband and um, we shall not be married because we will be married to our king. We will be married to the king of kings, the Lord of lords, our husband. Uh, but I have ran out of time. If you want a part two, comment down below, share, like. It is so much deception going around when it comes to marriage. And I just want to warn the people and share the message and save you time and delay. Okay? Because that's all what it is. Just a spirit of delay and distraction. All right? Y'all be blessed.